No discrimination, just pure, genuine prophecy. Real niggas do real nigga shit. Universal guidance tailored for you. He loves me. He loves me not. The trap tarot minister makes sure you never have to worry or wonder. Clarity is just a click away. Leaving the club, we ain't stopping at no light. You wanna be a boss? You gotta pay the price. Left wrist on frost, look like a bag of ice. I'm driving a Bentley Bentayga, like I don't love my life. I'm in that thing shifting, and I'm lane switching. Bitches, dick zombies, stand on straight business. Cocking uh, on niggas' ass like Blake Griffin. He keep talking, bro, gon' leave his face missing. Baby, these all white, these ain't no Harachi. Bad bitch, 50 flow, ain't Hibachi. I got 10 missed calls, all my bitches mad at me. Ballet Park Designer District, I'm going straight. Hello, my beautiful dedicated this is your girl Key, the Trap Sierra Minister, we're back for another Sugar Free Production. Today we're going to be discussing where is disconnection headed. For my OG dedicated, you already know I'm already going to read this topic. But I'm redoing it because, again, time has changed and I've evolved as a reader. Blase, blase, blase. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. We're just going to dive right in it. But if you're interested in watching the original, that is going to be uploaded on Patreon. So. I, right away, I can kind of see that this is somebody who um, is reforming their life, okay? I could see that this is somebody that um, either this person will communicate this to you or maybe you've noticed that this person has separated from some bad habits that they had. For some of you guys, this could be someone who uh, suffered from addictions and they're a recovering addict. For others of you guys, this could be someone who had a, a, a bad habit of a lifestyle. Maybe they, um, it, I'm also, I heard also triangulation when I was organizing y'all cards and laying them out so and I, I like guilty by association is another thing that's coming out so perhaps this person was affiliated with um drug users for instance that could be something that um could hone in on this person to kind of um really bring it home for you guys just to make it almost personal you guys may relate to this storyline for some of you guys this person could be involved with nightlife okay I could definitely see that this is somebody where either you're in no contact with this person or there's an energy where you feel as though there's so much more that this person has to say that they're suppressing. The moon here is Cancer Energy, so perhaps it is July um, in the time in which you've seen you're watching this when I upload it. Or maybe there's an energy of maybe the last time you spoke to this person was in July. They can have a birthday during the season. Uh, or they can have a summer, a birthday in the summer months. This could be someone that you know suppresses their emotions. Alright guys, so it turns out that my footage was warped. And for some reason, Power 1 and Power 2, I think that you and Power 1 and Power 2 are linked. Um, because Power 2's audio was completely gone in your video. Halfway through when I was editing it, I realized that it was in slow fucking motion. So, for a lot of you guys, it may take a while for you to get off the ground. Or, uh, I don't know, turn on your post notifications because I decided to do a reading where how, um, I discuss how long it's going to take for the person in your mind to reach out. And I think that you guys might be interested in that. Because there's something about things that have been slow. Maybe it's been a long time coming since you and this person have been in each other's energy. Or since there's been progress in this relationship. Take what resonates with me through this. <clears throat> We're just gonna start the whole reading over. I'm not, I had to get over it. I was a little bit upset, but I'm fine now. Now that I'm here, I feel present in the energy. So something about that is significant. You may be upset or unwilling or un, uh, 
I remember your reading, it was saying that you could say change this connection once you um, have some growth in your career and by the time it arrives, you may not want it. Um, I was also getting that you and this person might go on a double date with a friend that they have that may be following you on social media currently, um, scouting you or getting information about you for this person. I was picking up on that type of energy, um, but we'll see if the same thing transpires. It may even be something that shifted. Maybe something that maybe this person has switched timelines. Maybe you have something in someone's energy has shifted because I even felt drawn to get a completely different dick. So um, you may be more inclined to accept this person's offer. Um, I don't know what has shifted, but we'll see. We'll just start your whole reading over. Who is this person that Power One has come to this reading asking about? For my spirit cast and answers is here to support my viewers on their divine path. But the message is to be clear about this. Okay. Show you the design of you. Say for me to channel these messages. Thank you. Who is this person my viewers are inquiring about? Spirit of the living God. Who is this person my viewers are inquiring about? Okay. This person could be in a public eye. Okay. For a lot of you, this person could be an earth sign or an air sign. They could be very stubborn. This person here could um, be very hard to um, budge. They could be very stubborn, like I was saying. This person here could be in their head. They could certainly be an overthinker. I think this is somebody who watches you from a distance. They possibly, if you're a content creator, they definitely enjoy your content. For some of you guys, this person has a podcast or they do things. Uh, or they. This is, could be someone who broadcasts everything they do. Real gangsters move in silence. Can I get my silence? Man, this is some bull silence. Oh, you just gonna keep on saying silence. silence. So even if they're not a content creator, they may have like their social media set up to be where it's an influencer account. You know? Like even if they're not a content creator, they probably have their social media set up like it's a like they're a public figure or something like that, you know? <coughs> this person could be very athletic, they can really like to go to the gym. This person could be a straight shooter, they can be very blunt in the way they speak. Okay, this person here could be someone that, like a, um, <clears throat> a himbo, okay, from a lot of people's perspective, or they could be perceived this way. This person can actually be intellectual, but they could look very attractive, so people can assume that they're stupid, and it probably annoys them. Um, this probably, person is probably soft-spoken. This person probably is someone that, um, you haven't seen in a while, okay? You probably would have a hard time. You probably wouldn't recognize this person if you were to see him again. You probably would recognize him, but something about this person has changed. Their body has changed, or they've been working on their figure. I think this is somebody here who um, is very hardworking. They're very hypervigilant with their running their career. Very career-driven person. This person's a hustler. You could have known this person at the time in which you were going to school, or they were going to school, or this person could have been someone who just graduated or just went accomplished something. Maybe they've made a career shift or change. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see. What is the connection right now between Power One and the person they're inquiring about? What is the connection right now between power one person inquiring about? Any extended, we'll get into the 18 plus energy, your next session of counsel with them, what the energy will be like between you guys after sex, um, what's the future holds, and, that, and any romantic energy. We're only going to briefly discuss, discuss certain details in this portion on YouTube. The remainder will be posted on Patreon. Please be mindful that I do offer a free trial on Patreon. The link is below in the description, so you can definitely try the milk before you do by the cow you know um i can see where right now you've been thinking about this person i think you have um i think you have a nature to where you've been very nurturing towards this person you have a natural business ability to possibly submit to this person when you're in this person's company you possibly give this person like nice little kind gestures i think that you are thinking of this person very fondly or fantasizing or daydreaming about this person um <laughs> quite often or frequently okay i can see that being something that um is going on for you for some of you guys it's, you can have a lot going on in your personal life and this could be something that grants you peace okay so for some of you guys you could maladaptive daydream that's going to resonate for who it's meant to resonate for okay um when can they expect changes in this connection between them and the person they're inquiring about <clears throat> yeah Okay. I think that it's going to be after you um, after you move on and you boss up and people come and tell this person um, about your success. I think it'll be also in a time in which this person is 
ready to commit. I think this person will be in a season to where um, they may be around people who are having families or expanding or, and they're going to be feeling like they've most missed out. Okay, For a lot of you guys, this person will be feeling as though um, you're the one that got away. Uh, I think this will be energy to where, again, um, there will be gossip surrounding you guys. Connection, this person may be asking around about you. It might be a time in which um, I'm hearing a hurry through the grapevine. This person, it might be after this person hears through the grapevine that you're moving on, that you're more successful, or that again, that you've bossed up to a certain degree. So it is kind of in alignment with the storyline that I was picking up earlier that this is going to, you're going to see progression in this connection. Um, when this person receives a certain level of material success, I think this person will seek to accomplish some things for themselves as an individual. Um, for a lot of you guys, this person here, with the time in which you guys come back together, you will be uh, possibly from our divine feminines. I see about them at the height of their career possibly in an office job of some degree um for some of you guys i think that this divine feminine here um it might be after you buy a pair of nice new shoes or some designer shoes or it might be after you get your feet done um it will be after you pamper yourself <laughs> Um, it will be after a series in which you've experienced some betrayals and you came out on top. It will be after you've been vindicated, um, not just within this connection, but within other connections as well. With the page of mirrors being here, I think, again, it will be a period in time in which maybe um, a lot of people may be speaking very down on you, uh, possibly to this person. It may be at a season to which um, it may be after... Uh, it may be in, a, in an area or a time in which you are turning down a lot of people. A lot of people may be, like, you might be looking very good and advertising to people, but you might not be. I'm hearing hard been broke so many times. I, I don't know what to be. So you might be just a post to love as the viewer. And this person might have only, like, at this point, when you're being, like, ill, people are trying to talk to you and you're just turning down love offers. People want to text you or take you out and you're just not interested. The time of which you're going to see a shift, this person here, at the same time in which you're feeling those emotions, this person is thinking about commitment, marriage, who's going to, uh, what about my legacy, the future, and they're going to be thinking, looking back at you like, oh, I'm so glad that Pal, because this card car came out in Pal 2, if I, in, in their extended, so Pal 2 and Pal 1 is certainly linked, so if you were drawn to both Pals, I highly recommend that you just check us out on Patreon. Get the free trial so you can get the the full package um and i, I know you're going to want to stay there so you might as well become a member it's hundreds of videos of exclusive content like this that you're going to enjoy but i'm not going to continue to advertise myself we already did in the beginning but i think this person will be sad over you they'll be ruminating over you missing you definitely feeling your absence and i think that um there might be an energy of um, if this person had people in their ear that stopped you from guys from coming to stick together, there might be um, gossip around them. Those same people that try to convince them to stay away from you, and I was picking up on an ear reading, are going to be the same people that are like, oh, look, so and so, you should stay with so and so. They're doing better without you, and it's going to trigger this person. I was picking up on that reading that I did earlier for you guys um, for this reading that this person. Honestly, there was a lot of stagnancy in you guys' connection simply because they thought that you wanted them for what they had. They were listening to other people, and those people have since then reconciled with people. They were only giving this person bad advice because they was beefing with their baby mama. They was getting into it with their ex, so they, they were jealous, and they didn't have a point of reference of what you guys are experiencing within this relationship. So they gave this person bad advice. Since then, all those people are right back with their Carmishas and their bum Anthony's and all that other shit, and they're thinking about how they had a real one and they fumbled, okay? And when that, when that occurs, you can expect a shift in this relationship. Some of you guys, this has already happened. Uh, I can definitely see where um, spring, summer, summer, spring is when this might happen. At the latest Capricorn season, at the very latest. <clears throat> okay. So, where is this connection headed between power one and the person they're inquiring about? Where is this connection headed? Okay. We have rose ceremony opening up and we have the limo. I think that there's going to be some movement in this, in this um, connection. I think this person wants to impress you. Okay, for sure. Yeah. This person finds you to be attractive. They find you to be alluring. Um, you make this person very happy. This person here, 
they find you to be very sensual, very sexy, um, and they appreciate your growth, okay? This person here wants to impress you. I think this person here, some of you guys, this person might gift you something very expensive. Um, or they might take you out a lot night up town. This person probably wants to show you the city or they want to show you around. I was getting earlier that um, for you guys' reading that this person would want to take you to do something you've never done. And that you guys might do a double date or something, but it's a completely new experience to you. And I can see that the same message is present. This person might want to go public with you. They might publicly express their love for you. They might go out with you. I can see where this connection is going to be. This person may... Um, this is like reminding me of flavor of love. They're going to choose you. Uh, and they're going to come out and say, this is my person. Okay. But for a lot of you guys, this connection is going to become public. Okay. <clears throat> That's where this situation is headed. For many of you. Give me a second. Okay. Why is this happening like this for power one? Because you deserve it. Some of you guys have asked for this person. For a lot of you, you're this person's divine feminine or this person is in love with you at the very least. For a lot of you guys, it could be all those things. This person is very attracted to your face. Um, I was getting it earlier that you, this person finds you to have like a really beautiful baby face. Okay, with the masculine feminine, this person is deeply in love with you. And that's why it's going to happen that way. They're deeply in love with you and you deserve someone who loves you, you know? And for a lot of you, you're still interested in this person, okay? And for a lot of you guys, this is a faded situation. The Empress here, you don't just look up with the Empress. You earn the Empress's attention, okay? So this person is going to earn um, this validation or the progression in this relationship. <clears throat> Tell me more about this person. What does Paul uh, want you to know about the person they're inquiring about? Okay. I think this person here, um, they are possibly going to ask you out on a date very soon. Um, they're going to make you a very small offer, but it's a kind gesture, and it, it's it. There's a lot of emotions behind it. Okay. Um, you make this person very happy. If you reached out to this person recently, it definitely. Uh, I'm hearing red, but red bull gives you wings, so you definitely make this person very happy. Um, they feel like they're walking on sunshine when they're in communication with you. Okay. Put something on this. Four of flutes and this queen of flutes. For a lot of you guys, you feel rejected by this person. And you ruminate on that. How um, some of you guys feel like you was a sip behind this person. Some of you guys ruminate over how you overgave. So you're just, like, you know, that's how you feel about it. You could be dealing with Gemini Libra Aquarius. You could feel friend zoned by this person. And you could feel overwhelmed, okay, and embarrassed. Okay. Hmm. One thing I expect to shift in this connection clarify the Six of Swords, the King of Rings, the Page of Rings, Mirrors, and the Queen of Mirrors. Okay. This person here um, is going to have to face what they did to you. That's, I'm telling you, this person's going to—you're going to be vindicated. It's going to—the tables are going to turn. This is a true twin flame connection, and I know a lot of people think that they have a twin flame, but many people don't. This person will get to taste. This person—it will be after this person gets to taste of their own medicine when they fuck around and find out. They've been trying to give these roses to a lot of people. A lot of people. These are two totally different decks. They've been trying to make this offer to a lot of people, and no one suffices. Oh, this glass slipper, it only fits your foot. Okay. There's a message for you in that song by Mooney Long, Made For Me. Yeah. It, yes, exactly. This, you're, you were made for this person, is how they feel. Okay. Where's this connection headed for Power One? Okay. The Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This is somebody, all of you guys are going to have family with this person. Okay, some of you guys are going to get pets with this person, move in with this person, have kids with this person. But there's definitely going to be love, okay, and an acknowledgement, a reconciliation at the very least. There's definitely going to be um, a, how do I say this, like a public recognition of this relationship, okay? You guys are going to become an item, okay? 
maybe even a public figure of a relationship, maybe even a power couple, okay, for a lot of you. This could certainly come at a time in which, again, you're not interested in it or you feel like you don't want it. Or maybe it can come at the expense of someone else, okay, for a lot of you guys. So this is where we're going to end in the YouTube portion if you want to join us in the Patreon portion. We're going to go more into depth on this information that we're getting in here. We're going to compare this person's feelings, get deeper into that, talk about you guys next sexual encounter, the energy in the connection after sex so on and so forth where this connection is headed um, in great detail and any other more you know any other pertinent information that may come out in you guys' reading okay I love you guys to the moon and back and around all social and I'll talk to you guys later bye Okay, so pile number two, let's get into it. We're going to do your um, pick a card reading. It's your girl, Keita, shout out to minister, of course, with another sugar free production. Sorry, I should introduce myself when I first got on, but as you can see, if I already laid out some cards, we're going to be discussing where is this connection headed between you and this person. For my OG baby case, you already know I've already done this topic, but I'm redoing it because your girl has evolved, okay? So without further ado, we're just going to get into some tea. All right, got my fan with me this is going to serve as my pointer okay so who this person is this is somebody that you possibly feel um <laughs> for a lot of you guys if i'm being honest some of you guys feel like this person has put roots on you i don't know if this person is mad at you or if you've done something really fucked up to this person like really really fucked up and you know good and goddamn well you're going to get some karma for this from how you trade play this person this is like someone who um, maybe you ostracized or this could be like for some of you guys this could be a friend that was bullied or this could be someone that you misjudged someone that liked you and you just said you weren't that into them and they go up um there's a in it there's some sort of factor of like that type of dynamic between you and this person if this isn't already resonating i can tell you right now that this is most certainly not your pal because this is a very specific type of energy here that i see consistently um illustrated throughout your entire reading thus far um okay um for some of you guys you and this person either somebody can stay in atlanta just random doesn't have to be okay so this is actually my second time recording your reading okay so i'm still gonna insert well by now you would have already watched the previous clip but um i did you guys whole reading it was beautiful it was really deep to the point to where honestly i think it got scrapped because once when i re-watched it the audio was gone um, but I really think that there was a message for me in it because it really hit home. I just want to say that whatever you're perceiving is like your fault in regards to why this connection has some stagnancy. It's totally not your fault. This person has a lot of shit going on and they're insecure. And you guys mirror each other so fucking heavy. And it was such a beautiful reading. Like, I wish <laughs> that you guys were able to hear, see it, but <sighs> you guys' connection is very deep. And I, I, nonetheless, I want you guys to know, like, for those of you who choose this pal, it just kept showing up that you guys are fated to be happy with one another. You know, fated. That's going to happen regardless. So don't stress yourself out about that. Okay, so let's see. Spirit of God, who are here to support? How to use divine past, come forth. Shining door, there's not a few. Protect me, touch on these messages. Let's message you join. Then take it for other divine past. Thank you. <sighs> Y'all reading got heavy. Okay. I've already talked about, I think I already said it was going to be an extended, so I don't think I have to repeat that. But yeah, if I haven't already, check out the extended for the 18 plus messages. So let's see, um, tell me more. I want to put my different dick, actually. I get to see who's this person that Katsu was inquiring about. Mm. Ooh, someone who definitely keeps tabs on you. For a lot of you guys, you've caught this person stalking you before. You've low-key caught this person like being in your neighborhood or like coincidentally like being where you are. Maybe watch your social media. If this person follows you, they probably won't react to anything, but they'll just watch your like every post and they won't miss anything. This could be somebody that you feels like that you possibly feel as though with this person you could feel like this person um like like the car says ain't shit some of you guys this person has like a lot of tattoos i'm gonna adjust my camera real quick <sighs> okay so this person is definitely someone that you perceive as toxic pile number two it's somebody that you feel like okay 
Sorry guys, damn, it's like I'm recording and they loud as fuck. But anyway, um, this is definitely someone that um, I think they've also, some of you guys, they've inspired either some new ink that you have. <laughs> some of you guys have probably gotten a tattoo, like, it's fine this connection, or they have, for sure. They definitely have a tattoo that reminds them of you. Some of you, this person has, like, your name tag, or some of you guys, this person here, they keep, they like, I don't know, something about an attachment that you have to this person. Um, I think this person here has an attachment to you, but they have a, a very shitty way of expressing it, is what I heard. A very shitty way of expressing it. A very shitty way of going about it. Okay, so tell me more about... Uh, what is the current status of the connection between Pal 2 and the person they're inquiring about? Mm, ooh. How do we... How did we get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Okay, because when I recorded y'all reading, like I kept trying to be cheery, but I was just so sad and gloomy earlier. And like now it's dark, and I'm in a much better space, although it's dark. So I do feel like there's a lot of energy of self sabotage, a lot of wallowing. I think this connection here um, resulted in a heartbreak. I think the divine feminine here is um, victimizing themselves, maybe thinking as though it, the the burden of this connection um, late lies solely on them. Okay. I could see where the feminine was very nurturing, very giving. Maybe did everything that she could have done or they could have done to, or the, what they perceived they could have done to make this relationship work or be successful. Okay. I think that the feminine could have um, submitted to this masculine energy quite naturally and, and it, within this connection. I think that there's an energy of feeling. Um, it's like beating yourself up for waiting because I'm hearing waiting by Janae Aiko. Somebody's name could be Janae. Okay. Take a resonation, leave the rest. Some of you guys feel naive. Okay. So this is like be feeling like green, you know? Um, you guys could have felt like betrayed and naive. Maybe it's like a lot of guilt, a lot of self victimization, a lot of internalized like hatred from how this situation played out that I can see you guys currently experiencing. When might they experience change in this relationship between Kyle 2 and the person they're crying about? The Chariot and the Knight of Swords. So, what I was getting earlier when I did you guys' this reading, I was getting that it's requiring this person here to... They have to find an inner... It's something within themselves that they're seeking. And for a lot of you guys, this person has a disorder. Um, and I'm not a doctor, but it's directly linked to some sort of like, like depression or something like that. You know, like I think this person has extreme highs and up and downs, um, and they may have difficulty coping and they have to accomplish some things for themselves and bring awareness to things they have already accomplished and the things that they've worked through in order to have the courage to face new challenges, because this seems like something that's very hard for them. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the cards because I almost felt like I need to brace myself and rehash like the past before I even got into this energy when I before I look at these new cards that I've laid out. So something about that is certainly significant where I think this person feels as though or what's necessary is this person needs to get themselves together. Okay. With the Chariot and the Knight of Swords, I think that you guys might see um, a significant change in this relationship between you and this person. Potentially... Um, after this person experiences a betrayal, um, I think that this betrayal is going to thrust them into a higher level of awakening, essentially. Yeah, the star card on the bottom of the deck. I know what I'm talking about. This person here is, it's like they're going to have to go through a dark night or so, and I feel like they've been avoiding it, and it's going to happen regardless, okay? I think this person here, for some of you guys, this person does live the nightlife or they live a darker lifestyle. They are going to be betrayed by someone very close to them, okay? There's an informant amongst them, and it's going to take that. I mean, we fall down, then we get up. This person here is going, they're going to have to suffer. And last night I took the ill, but today I bounce back. So now that I'm in the dark, like this energy is so much lighter. But earlier when the sun was beaming, like all the other two pals are like, so like, I'm coming. It was like so airy, but you guys, it was like so like heavy. Like I was down there about to cry. This person's energy was coming across to me like they just don't feel worthy or good enough of love or good enough of good things. They haven't experienced it. They had it rough going up and it's nothing to do with you. 
they cannot see the love that you have to give to them because they don't have a point of reference and it's not that they don't feel it it's not that they don't appreciate it's not that they don't value it is what i was picking up on earlier i think this person just had their own shit going on and it's a lot and i can see that being present here in their cards i feel like what needs to true when you might see a transformation i feel like it's going to be growth on both ends i think that you might mature some of you guys will be older in age if it's not that you're older in age you may go through a certain level of enlightenment some of you guys if you have a career in which you are in the forefront for your psychic abilities this will be um like if you're a psychic reader or something like that or if you are a group worker conjurer shaman high priestess of some sort even if you're none of these things this can be after you have been um spiritually anointed or spiritually revered or spiritually reached a certain level of anesthesia to the point to where you're got like it's like anesthesia in different realms okay it's a high ranking in a spiritual aspect it's like once this happens on your end and also on this person's end there seems to be um it's like when this person grows up here i think that you certainly scare this person if this person puts you on a pedestal you're sitting here thinking that this person here doesn't see you at all doesn't see your value and you have no fucking clue you don't have no idea you have no idea how much this person holds you in high regard how much this person values you and them um rejecting you was their way of protecting you okay and they're from their perspective they felt too they it, i would compared you guys love story to that of the gatsby's um when we talk about the great gatsby um we talk about daisy settling for tom buchanan in spite of having uh, someone that was willing to sacrifice everything for her it was just merely out of self-sabotage and insecurities what was familiar and uh, what she had grew up around not because that was something that she really desired for herself or wanted she was not in love with tom buchanan she was in love with gatsby um and gatsby absolutely loved like was like a i, I don't know like boyishly or foolishly in love with Daisy and I kind of get that with that that energy between you guys and I think that God's separating you two was out of discipline and for protection so that you guys don't result in like this tragic ending but I do see that there's going to be a much like with Gatsby okay bringing it back coming back down to earth <laughs> come here and teleport me to Mars some of you guys just watch RuPaul's Drag Race or this person who really likes that I don't know how that's significant some of you guys it could be June July this person could be born in June July somebody here can be an Aquarius Gemini or Libra or Cancer during these months or seasons um so aquarius season will be like january um for some of you guys this can be during cancer season july or gemini season um which is in june so during those months you and this person might um uh, start communicating with one another okay and i think that um during this time if i'm this person may be seeking some insight they may be needing some reassurance they've been maybe needing a show to cry or they may be needing someone who just knows where it hurts i feel like with you you um and i was saying that in your reading that you have a point of reference to where honestly if i was to describe your your this person's point of view and their emotions and things that they've been through truth be told you'd be able to have like a, a like it would you would empathize greatly with this person if they were to come back and honestly tell you verbatim every every reason why they kept things on a standstill you would find that there's more similarities between you two than there are differences and you would also find that you can empathize with this person a great deal and I think that you'll be able to offer this person some insight and I was encouraging you to do so. And I can see where there could be progress in this relationship between you and this person. I think that this person here may come into your life at a time in which you may feel stagnant personally. You may feel bored. You may feel like yourself, not like yourself, like something's missing for you. I think that this person, you and them will be able to offer each other something. Okay, and I think that it's going to come in a state in which possibly you're creating things. I think that it would have been after you experienced a series of cycles where you could have went through all these things. You could have coincidentally went through a very rough season. A very rough season, honestly. Um, but you came on the other side of it. And you could have been someone that is very faith-driven. Very spiritual, obviously, if you're being present. And this heightened sense of perspective, this person's going to need that insight. And this person may be up and coming, finna getting ready to walk into a season that you have already um, weathered. Okay? And this, and I, as I was speaking about that, they were telling me that this may be the theme throughout your relationship. Where um, they're telling me you're the line leader. 
okay i do feel like there may be an energy where this person here they may come back around you much like a child needing a mother's milk like this person here you might have to like this person might come back around you and there might come a moment where they ball up under you you might have to cuddle this person to call them much like a mother with their child i think that there um there's going to be a space or an opportunity for you guys to have that moment of vulnerability in the um, future Woo. It's definitely going to be during the summertime, but I think mentally, I think for one, it's going to be like um, at night. Um, you may see meet up with this person during like after hours, like after work or after a long day or at night for sure. I'm not getting a daytime um, meet up or link. For some of you guys, it could be like a sneaky link where you, you know, where you'll meet up with this person, but it definitely feels like that there's going to be an impulsive. Um, contact that is made okay it may be done frantically this person may be out of fear someone may make a confession towards you out of the blue okay hmm. where is this connection headed between Paul to and the person they're inquiring about mm. Yeah, just as I was stating, the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. I think that you guys and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You guys, are, like I said, are more similar than you guys are different. Okay? You're, you guys' charts can be like polar opposites from each other. So somebody could be an Aries, somebody could be a Libra, for example. Um, you guys could be like, your chart could be almost entirely composed of water and theirs can be almost entirely composed of fire for instance just as an example okay um you guys could be opposite elements in your signs i do see that there's going to come a time where you guys are going to be like hey i can't shake this feeling i can't deny this emo these emotions that i have for you we're going to have to put on our big girl pennies and boxers and we're going to work this thing out. We're going to do the groundwork. I think that this is going to be something that um, is going to be like I was saying, it's the same part that came out earlier. You guys was reading. It's like an energy of this seems very uncomfortable. This seems very odd and um, fixed to do with this. This is with intention. OK, maybe you're not the person who made this mess. But it's loving this person and not charging them to it for helping them get through this. OK. I see this being something to where this relationship is definitely going to show you areas in which I, you guys are both going to serve as mirrors. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing Coraline. Okay. But what, I'm hearing correlate. Okay. So I think again, where this connection is heading is to a space of balance. I think that you and this person are going to hold each other down. You guys are going to be able to start from scratch with each other. You guys might both come around each other after experiencing a bunch of losses and you guys are going to pick each other up okay there's going to be a balanced teamwork um in this relationship between you and this person you guys are going to uplift each other and inspire each other you guys are definitely coming into a place of fulfillment and happiness joy you're going to be very proud of where this connection is headed. You're going to be very proud of your love story. You guys are also going to be celebrating. Some of you guys are going to be that couple that hosts um, holidays. Okay. That's where this connection is headed. I was also getting that early and you guys reading that your passion is never going to die. If you were worried about this person being attracted to you guys, that they're never not going to be attracted to you. They're never not going to be attracted to you. You're, like the passion is only going to increase and where this connection is headed i think that this is going to be something that initially starts off very lighthearted. you're going to beat out this person's competition by a long shot because your intimacy with this person it exceeds the bedroom but like and i was saying it for you guys is reading i was like bitches getting their body done and this motherfucker is going to be happily lifting up your fupa happily and they're going to love it there okay there's going to be motherfuckers out here for my masculine where it's going to be niggas out here breaking like spending all they bread smoking her out giving her all her weed doing all this extra shit paying her bills and you're gonna come in and you you might you know be starting or you might want to do these things or you might just not have to do all those things who fucking knows you know but irregardless it just feels like that you guys are it's gonna be undeniable chemistry and it's gonna immediately go from one thing to another for a lot of you guys this could immediately go into um 
from girlfriend to we have children together to we're in a relationship. This is definitely, I could definitely see where you guys are going to have kids. I could definitely see where you guys are going to move into each other, move into a home and eventually build a forever home. Like I could see where this is going to go somewhere very far. I think that you guys may um, work together or have creative endeavors together. I think that you and this person will inspire growth in each other. You guys are going to challenge um, beliefs that you guys have surrounding love family and antiquated belief systems due to your relationship with one another with the higher and queen of wands being present there's a lot of major arcana so this relationship is a big deal i will say that this person here whatever transpired in the past between you and this individual they were doing what they were supposed to do they they operated i mean you think you just fell from a coconut tree <laughs> <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. <laughs> uh, so, somebody's name could be Kamala. Doesn't have to be, okay? Somebody's name could be Kamala, Gypsy, Corey, Kiara. Um, Jasmine, Autumn, Henry, Cole, Keisha, Leslie, Lisa. Lexi, Lexi, Alexis, Lexis, Lexi, okay, Lexi, Shantae, Samaje, I'm outside and Miles, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, Malik. Somebody here can have locks. Okay, somebody's um, could be ex military, ex neighbors, something like that. It doesn't have to be randomly. That's going to be resonate for who it's meant to. That was just random as messages. I start honing in on people <laughs> and started getting those things. But anyway, definitely does not have to be that. But you and this person are going to grow old together. I think that you guys are going to move to something very committed, very serious. I think that you're going to have a relationship that is often envied by other people. Okay, you're definitely going to have that um, that poster ten of cups, that idealistic relationship. You're definitely going to have what you manifest in this connection, something that you put the work for. Some of you guys have petitioned for this. Um, I don't know if you've done rituals, but you're going to get what you've um, requested, and it's going to be better than what you've asked for, more than what you've asked for. Okay, it's going to exceed your expectations. It's going to come back to you um, tenfold. It's going to be better. Okay, when the time is right. Okay. That's where this connection is headed. <sighs> this is definitely going to be a connection that is heavily envied by a lot of people. I think that you are going to, they're going to be the type of like couple where y'all kind of like recluse or like escape with each other away from other people. It's a very beautiful type of energy. I think you guys are going to help each other pull like you got you might confirm a lot of things with this person this person might feel like um an imp, like a lonely person in a crowded room like like their dreams fall on deaf ears or like they're underappreciated undervalued and you you make this person feel seen okay and I, I can completely relate to that this you make this person feel seen you, you keep them from making permanent decisions to go in a bad space so tell me more about um why is this all happening for Powell to mm. four of wands? I think that for a lot of you guys, um, there was a lack of representation surrounding healthy marriages in your um, family. And I think that this is something that is often replicated. I think that this person here 
you could have had a, a father figure that was a narcissist so you could have been more tolerant of certain behaviors due to your upbringing this person here could have been exhibiting narcissistic behaviors for the same reasons or either because as a um, defense mechanism to protect themselves the ace of wands indicates i think this is somebody where again um what, when i pulled you guys cards earlier the higher thing not the higher thing but the hangman came out as if this was a faded encounter and this is kind of reminding me of this is because this is an opportunity to shift a perspective this is fear of saying hey i see that you've had a difficulty with healing this particular wound with the four swords here's a new opportunity to stop what you're doing it's like a stop sign to me and reflect because you're not seeing this from this from, from this perspective this person possibly inspires you to look at things Things like okay look at ways that new ways of communicating new ways of seeing things new ways of just being in general I think this person here served as a major catalyst for growth for you I think with the eight of cups here I think that this is something that um, yeah again I think it was very hard um, for you to walk away from this particular individual but I think that in doing so Walking away for the feminine, it taught the feminine strength and her own strength. And I'm saying her figuratively, put yourself where you need to be. Him, her, them, they, pop tart, cockroach. Makes me numb, never mind, right? But um, I think this feminine here needed to show themselves that they were capable of leaving. They needed to set those boundaries. They needed to, to establish that. They needed to, um, you know, I think that this masculine here at first, if I'm being honest, maybe they were taking advantage of this person's um, submission to them. This divine masculine was taking advantage of the divine feminine submission to them. So, and as a result, a boundary was set. But I think that this was done accidentally, but nonetheless, their intentions do not absolve them accountability of actions. I think that this was, this person had to lose something to recognize what needs to be fixed. I think that you guys both inspire a change in one another. I think this person here, they may have also encouraged, just their lifestyle could have encouraged the divine feminine not to settle. Um, um, this relationship in itself could have served as like a carrot on the stick to where it's like, okay, the vibe's here so raw. I know fake she love when I'm around it because I've had a real relationship. I've been in love before. I've been in real love before. So I know when I'm around people, it doesn't matter if we were friends for 30, 32 years. It doesn't matter if we've been friends since we were 14. It doesn't matter if you've been my best friend my whole life. It doesn't matter for family. I see all through that fake shit because I now have a point of reference of someone who loves me. Because I'm hearing, somebody loves you, baby. Oh, well, well. And you know who it is. So I think this is something that was supposed to um, make the masculine, the divine masculine get mad at himself. So I think the divine masculine um, was meant to have this, this trope in this person's life. Um, of like the one that got away to kind of propel him into a manhood I think the divine feminine needs to be propelled into womanhood by setting a boundary and doing what's best for herself not just always sitting in that, that meek energy of waiting for someone to save her um, being that hero for herself okay that's the um, that's kind of what I'm picking up here uh, let me see Tell you more about ain't shit. Okay. This could have been somebody who made very small offers or very small gestures. This could have been somebody here that flirted with you, okay, and entertained other people. This person could have been someone that um, maybe made you feel rejected to a certain degree. This card actually came out. Some of you guys are like dumb thick, okay? Look at that dumpy. <laughs> look at that dumpy okay so you guys are um or this person is they're dumb thick <laughs> um <laughs> okay so this person here they probably get distracted maybe you feel like this person only wants you for material things or for like your physique or maybe for sensual reasons it's definitely not that for sure if you're um <laughs> check out <laughs> my reading um check out the full reading on patreon actually um of <laughs> was this connection all in your head because yeah <laughs> it's definitely not this person only sexualizes you it definitely never gave it probably did gave that based off this person's actions i think that they were bitty stepping like half stepping probably flirting with you passively and you probably were questioning where you stood with this person then when you it's like this person telling you they like you and then the second you start giving this person attention they start acting fucking weird and it's like damn i'm not tripping like this person might have made you feel like a fan okay like not responding and things like i feel like you gave this person a break okay 
because it's like damn like you're hurting my feelings like i feel like you like me you know or uh, whatever case may be maybe you this person was sleeping on you because they was caught up on somebody else you know three of swords and on the floor twice okay especially if you're dealing with gemini okay okay for the three of swords and the ten of wands the Knight of Cups fell down. I think this direction here, yeah, just strong Gemini energy. Strong, the lovers came out. Because the um, Knight of Cups fell on the floor, but the lovers, they they wanted me to see that. So I think that this is the energy surrounding it. Yeah, didn't we almost have it all? When love was all we had worth giving. Yep, that's what it's giving. Um, yeah, that's Whitney Houston. A tra another tragic love story. It could be, it, like, literally, that's kind of what I'm getting, the lore of this. Oh. My condolences to those of you who have lost a loved one or a lover. Okay, so many things are left unsaid. I do offer personal readings and I, I, I do have mediumship abilities where I use tar by way of tarot and other tools. So if you guys are interested in connecting with someone who has passed on, I do offer that as a service for those of you who didn't know that. With the Ten of Wands being present here, um, I think there's an energy of you can feel like you're grieving this relationship. Okay. There's a lot of, if I was to love somebody else, it would only be because this person taught me what it, the definition of what the word meant. It could be how you feel, how this person feels about this relationship. I think it's a mutual energy as well with the lovers being present. I think that there's a reciprocated, however you feel is how this person is equally feeling about you. Okay. I think you guys often meet up in the 5D when you guys are resting. Okay. Tell me more about this 10 of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles in verse, you got me waiting, but I can't keep waiting on you. This person here, they could have been behaved very immaturely, so it could have taken, taken too long to offer you something or to respond to a message. Maybe it's just like things just didn't get off the ground. Like we're just talking forever. And it's like, it's this hesitancy. It's like, why don't we, why don't we fall in love? <laughs> why don't we fall in love? That's what I'm hearing. So, yeah, I could see where you guys are, you know, feeling a little like, what is, where are we? <laughs> this is the point where you start asking those type of questions. What are we? <sighs> so, when might they expect some changes in this connection? Clarify for me. Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Strength card. I think that you walking away had a greater effect on this person than what they're willing to express. And I think when they communicate that and they stop being a fucking a coochie baby about it and being prideful when they finally come forth and uh, put um, put the toxic masculinity aside and be transparent and have courage okay to tell you how they feel okay that's when you're going to see change in this relationship okay check out my reading that i want to post so turn on your post notifications i want to do a reading uh surrounding when are they going to break no contact you know when are they going to reach out to you so if you're interested in that, which I can see where you guys could definitely be, um, check me out. Turn on your post notifications. You definitely don't want to miss that upload. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about where this connection is headed. We're just clarifying at this point. You guys are breaking cycles, okay? Uh, I feel like generational curses are being broken, okay? Not only within this relationship, but as, as individuals as well, okay? Where's this connection headed between? Also, when the person they're inquiring about. And yes, I put those back. So I didn't like the way this came out. The Empress. You guys are having a legacy family. And you guys might get pregnant fairly quickly. You guys might. I'm, why do we fall in love? You guys are going to very quickly get into moving to something very committed. Okay, this person. You guys might um, get hitched. This is getting hitched. You guys might just run off and get married. Okay, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> For some of you guys saying I do, that's like a veil. Okay, marriage. Okay, what is Paul? Um, so need to know about this connection before I shut it out and before we move into the extended for Patreon. Okay, this person values your friendship, they value the connection between you and them. Seven of Cups to start. I think this person here, they possibly have their, their friends are probably keeping tabs on you. <laughs> person is very attracted to you they possibly have their options open right now but they're definitely looking at you they're de like they compare everybody that they talk to to you you know I got heaven what's that 
I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. Uh, da, da. It's going on. Da, 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 da. This person could feel like life is very redundant. I think this person gets a lot of um, attention at their workplace or whatever, or for, because of whatever they do for work. But they're very focused on you. They possibly inquire about you. They probably watch you from a distance, especially if you're a content creator or something like that. Um, for a lot of you guys, uh, you could definitely benefit from a personal reading with the star card coming out multiple times. But with the three of cups, the seven of cups, and the star, I think this person may ask you out on a date soon. Say yes. <laughs> Say yes, okay? But their way of doing it might be passive or this person might be acting. They're, they're, they're acting one way, but <laughs> how are their feelings? You got some very different feelings, okay? So I love you guys to the moon and back and the rhino soul system. I'll talk to you guys later. We're going to move on to the Patreon portion. Look how messy you got. What the fuck? Oh, wow. What's good, you guys? It's your girl Key, the Traps Hero Minister, your favorite hood psychic on the tube. We're back with another sugar free production. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic as my OG baby case. I already know I've already done on my channel, but I'm redoing it because your girl has evolved. We're going to be diving into the topic very briefly on YouTube and extensively on Patreon. Where's this connection headed between you and this person? Um, very interesting for the pile for the reading that I did previously, it was coming out solely romantic, but. We got some romantic and some platonic energies thus far in the reading, so I'm very excited to see where this reading goes. For you guys, I will let you know that the 18 plus portion will be on the extended posted on Patreon. I do offer a seven day free trial on Patreon for those of you who are interested, so you can buy the, you can buy the cow after you taste the milk, essentially. Um, so on the extended, we're going to be talking about your next sexual encounter with this person, more about the romantic energy, what can you expect. Some 18 plus messages so on and so forth the energy of the sex and all of that good jazz in this reading we will just briefly discuss just very briefly and the remainder will be on patreon but very briefly we will touch on just where's this connection headed and just to give you um some more clarification we will touch on your history with this person just to make sure you're in the right place okay if you find this reading does not resonate you can check out the older one on patreon or you can check out another pal or another reader altogether. Makes me know never mind. So, I did ask my guides, who the fuck is this person to pile number, um, pile number three. I asked, who is this person? And when I got these cards, I was like, uh oh, this is someone who definitely uh, is probably in the public eye. This is certainly someone who um, doesn't have it the way they put on like they do. This is someone who fake flexes on social media like they're way world they're, they're way more well off than what they are. <laughs> um, but I don't think that this person here is like I, I don't know. This person might like to troll. I don't know on the internet or something like that. You might catch this person in like the shade room comments and stuff like that, just in the boy comments or reposting Kevin Samuels or Shara Seven things like that. But I mean, in this economy, who's not broke? these days <laughs> and if you're not broke congratulations praise god right but this for a lot of you guys could have been a side piece um, or someone that you were seeing um maybe you were the side piece but somewhere you were seeing why they were connected to someone else whether you know it or not if this person is presenting himself as being well off honey that shit is they're freaking the fucking fun just so you know <laughs> because i do feel like this person here they like to be in the public i like to present themselves as having big emotion and they they possibly like when well, you get closer to this person and I don't think this person is ashamed of how broke they are I just think this person in general like they might like um, expensive things or expensive lifestyle but when you come around them they might not have the things that they need like <laughs> if that makes sense like this person might not like for instance I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get on my ass for a second I'm gonna talk about myself for just a little bit just to make it personable <laughs> I do not know how to drive so I can only imagine that the way I get around and do things, I bet it shocks people when they're like, this bitch is in the fucking hammock swinging out of town, like at a park with her cakes out, buttered up and shit. Like this bitch, how the fuck did she get there? Did she walk? <laughs> it's like something like that. Or it's like this person could just be, I don't know. I'm, I feel like this is someone who's always posting or always doing things or always going out, whether they're broke or not. They might be someone who maybe in life 
will gain fame or success in the future. But right now, they're faking it so they make it. <laughs> um, but I think this is somebody where if you guys have been intimate, the sex is awesome. Okay. Um, if, if you guys are having been intimate, I think that you and this person here have a lot of sexual chemistry. There's a lot of passion and connection between you and this person. For a lot of you, this could have been a sneaky link. Okay. For some of you guys, it could have been somebody. It could have been a Capricorn. Um, maybe a Gemini. Aquarius. Um, I could also see where this person could have been a Taurus for some of you guys. Just, I don't know. This person could have been anyone that you slept with. Signs don't matter. Sagittarius, Andrew Jones, I believe her. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But nonetheless, this person here could be trying to chase a trick or chase a dream. Who is it these days? And it's probably not paid off thus far for this particular individual. Doesn't mean that it's not. I'm just trying to describe, like, generally speaking, what will stand out about this person and separate this person. That would be it. The fact that a lot of people will call them broke with your broke ass. <laughs> Tabina. Somebody's name could be Tabina. Um, somebody's name could be Tallulah or something like that. T name Tatiana, Tyree. Um, something of that nature. Okay. When I asked, um, like, what's the, you know, what's the current energy between you and this person? We did get the Four of Swords in conjunction with the Four of Swords. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. The Four of Swords with the Five of Swords and the King of Cups. This is somebody where I think you're actively healing from this person. Maybe this person here, um, withhold your emotion they can be very passive aggressive for a lot of you this person could have communicated to you that they're grieving someone possibly a maternal figure or maybe they just had a rough upbringing this person here could be someone who lives a rock star lifestyle i don't know if this is due to um their drug of choice uh, for some of you guys or just in general this person could just again like this person could be someone where they could post as if they're going out all the time and doing all these things and that if you were to date this person they don't have money to take you out on the date you know stuff like that or they they're borrowing from somebody or they're staying with this person or they're kind of like they're not necessarily as well off as like what they present themselves but we already talked about that but i do think that this is somebody that you've moved on from or you're, you've made an effort to move forward this person maybe this person's watching you on social media maybe they're trying to pop back up a little bit to see you know how things are going what's things you know what's cracking what's shaking <laughs> type shit um this person here could be someone who hits you up when they want to fuck. Okay. You ain't got to say too much. I can look in your eyes. I can tell you want to fuck. And you ain't got to call me your boo. Just as bad as you want to fuck. I want to fuck too. <laughs> this person here could like, like chop and screwed music. Or they can like old school hip hop. Or they could be like a crip for some of you. Because this person here is wearing a lot of blue. For some of you guys, this person could be a crip. They're a poor ass crypt though. So that's crazy. <laughs> but um this person here, they can be very reserved. Like this could be like a nonchalant person who only speaks up about their emotions when you are walking away. I think this is somebody that um they probably watch you and don't say nothing. It's kinda weird. It's getting creepy. <laughs> But um, I did ask, like, where is this connection headed? I think that, I mean, I think you're going to get to the point to where if you aren't at this point already, which I feel like you are. I feel like you already came to the point in your life where you're looking at a situation like, what is this situation going to offer me? If I was to get back into this person, I already know what comes with this person. I feel like this person has already showed. This is my yacht right here on this justice card. And she weighs our souls um, in the afterlife to see oh, if we are fit for um, and decision essentially right I think that you've already tried and tested this thing and I think essentially this person is habitually showing up one way and what I see it being is like you kind of look in a situation like weighing the pros and cons based off your experience with this person and making the um, best decision for yourself to move forward it's kind of what I see transpiring I don't see you overthinking this connection I don't see you trying to force yourself um uh, force this connection to prosper or anything like that i just see you kind of like i don't know i'm hearing karma the skills balancing out if you found yourself like being obsessed with this person this person kind of was like ghosting you or acting weird like i think that there's going to be a come a time where this person here is going to have their foot in their mouth and they're going to see you prosper without them i ask where is this connection headed <clears throat> and the justice came out like i said so i feel like wherever it's headed it's where it's meant to be so don't 
get discouraged if it doesn't align with what you feel like you want for yourself because it certainly was best and in due time you'll be able to realize this is like reminding me of like oh y'all this is this course that i stumbled across named malik and i'm gonna say him by his name because with a man that penis that big y'all they call him by his fucking name okay yeah he's putting it down yeah, I was on that man real big from 14 till I was like, girl, we was fucking around. But it wasn't until I got tired of his shit. I was like 22 when me and him, John and I finally cut off our little, I guess you could say it was high school sweethearts. I really feel like that's really overdressing it. This is just a nigga I liked. That it's like a kick love story manifest until we now grown and we can have sex now because we don't stay with our parents. We can do what the fuck we want to. And it was a waste of time. Um, in the long run, not really, because I, I don't regret it. It was fun. Sometimes was had. Definitely was beating it out of the park, but that's all he really could do. And even then, there would be times where I want him to come, where I feel like he deliberately would withhold me of that experience just to be an asshole. I think this person here is it's just like that. They're still the same person. That basically, is what I need to tell you. If you're expecting me to say, oh, this person has grown and they have changed, hell the fuck no. No, they have not. They're still the same person. <laughs> and you're going to find that out. And that's where this connection is heading, is you saying like, um, same old, same old. Because this is somebody who I've given chance, I change. This is somebody who will call me um, back to back, uh, message me in the middle of the night, oh, thug, I'm sorry, I really fucked up, you know, da 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 You know, I love you, da 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 I, I wish, I, I'm, I'm really gonna do it the right way to make things right. I only wanna make things right before you walk out my life. Right, all the sad, soppy shit. Just for me to let him back in, we fuck. He might do right for a couple fuck sessions. And that's might. Sometimes he fuck up the next day. Like, sometimes he fuck up the night we fuck. Like, it was that type of shit. Like, it just got to the point where I was like, you know, it's not worth it. Like, this nut, this 30 seconds of, ah, it's not worth it. <laughs> you know, like, I, I can just, I can get my ooh ah sensation by myself and I bought me a bunch of electrical blowers. I remember having this conversation with him. I was like, bro, Malik, I dyed my hair red. The city is mine. Like it's up and it's stuck up. I'm having a hot girl summer. He thought I was playing. Now he watching my stories. Day after day. said and I'm, I'm sure he felt like he lost because there would be times where he would slip up and he would come and be like oh how did I get lucky this is like a narcissist whatever you want to say this person plays mind games because this person looks like the person that does like narcissist therapy on like TikTok and stuff she kind of looks like her this is like a textbook narcissist they d deliberately deprive you of like emotional gratification so that when they do the bare minimum you can be jumping up and down like oh my gosh he's finally being vulnerable and telling me how he feels and he finally gave me an explanation but he could have been gave you an explanation he could have told you before he ghosted you that he had something come up he could have told you before all that shit happened that you know this is that type of person and they're still that way and they're going to always be that way they're always going to like gaslight you and keep you warm and i think what's coming is you just realizing that and accepting it and moving forward okay when i ask why this is happening like this person is just negative i think this person here if you were to move forward i think that god is god's going to always reveal this person's true character to you okay this person's spirit is not right this person possibly is has addictions but not living in their truth for some of you guys this person could be in a closet because that was the case of my dude but um with this this here um, with this Emperor and a Temperance card, this is letting me know that I can see where you and this person, I don't think y'all are going to be enemies. You just might boss up on this person. They might give you some closure and tell you, like, hey, you looking good, or hey, I miss you. Hey, I know I fucked up. And you might be like, yeah, you did. Two things can do this thing once. Thank you for that closure, but I'm choosing to move forward. And that might be the best decision for you. So this is where we're going to leave it off um, for the YouTube portion. Please do join me in the extended if you're interested. And we'll just talk about, you know, the sex stuff, you know, because the, the sex might be good between you and this person. I don't know. But we're going to talk about it. If it's romantic, we'll get more details, so on and so forth. But um, YouTube, I love you guys for coming back and around the whole. So this is my talk to you guys later. Bye.
Oh, wow! Uh. 